I need some lipstick or something to make me pizzazz. You gotta pizzazz your way to the people. Feel me? I have scrunchie from the 80s. Judge me. What is up and welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing my video that I have been waiting to do for a long time it is going to be my how I lost 10 pounds 10, 8 to 10 I really would like to round it up to 10 because honestly that's a good number it's a solid number but I think it was only 8 so I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in the video description but you guys know what I'm saying so um, this was requested I posted a progress photo on Instagram a long time ago actually and a lot of people were like hey do a video on how you lost your weight blah 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 how do you look like how you look now and I was like okay um, so I thought I would do that video for you guys today so I'm really excited fitness has become my love my life my bae my best friend my brother my mother my dad you feel I love fitness um, wow I just love it I had some pecan covered sugar pecan things and I'm a little hyper now so you're just gonna have to deal with me so it all started back in the day when I was birthed and I was just a little baby and I saw a donut and I was like, <laughs> just kidding, let me restart that. So I guess I will just start back in the beginning where it all kind of started. I had always grown up being athletic. Um, I played basketball for five years of my life. I was on a select team as well. Um, and growing up, I was very petite and very thin. Um, I was always just super skinny. This is kind of embarrassing, but it needs to be said. When I was like 12, I would run around the house with a towel. Wow, like when I came out of the shower, I'd be naked and I'd be like, run like the wind. And I'd run up and down the stairs to like dry like from the shower. Is that weird or that? That's weird and embarrassing. I don't know why. Okay, my sister used to do it with me too, so I'm bringing her into this. <laughs> know why that was necessary for this part of the story but it was so um like I said I was also a late little bloomer um I didn't start my period until I was like 16 dang yeah I was 16 it was late it was wow 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 you learn something new about yourself every day <laughs> not that that has anything to do with this whole story but um I did I was a late bloomer so um that means that I was I think I was a lot thinner for a lot longer and my hormones kind of got all in shape and everything was like done with my body being puberized and like womanized if that's that's not okay that doesn't work never mind during puberty you kind of have like that growth spurt where like you can literally eat anything and it goes nowhere and it's just like your metabolism is like a little car like going 110 miles an hour let's just say that little car ran out of gas and actually crashed into the side of a building and that's kind of what happened so I started to gain a lot I'm uh, not a lot of weight but I started to gain weight and I started to notice um, more fat on my body and this was a new thing to me because like I said I had been playing sports all the way up until right around that time where puberty ended I stopped playing sports because of just like health concerns and just some other issues and also that was the year that I was homeschooled like fully homeschooled at home with my mom as my teacher home every day of my life for that whole year so that meant access to the fridge whenever I want to which sounds awesome but it's actually a trap because you eat a lot when you're not supposed to so I started to gain some weight I think at my heaviest I was 138 which is crazy to me now because I on a good day I'm 129 130 so I lost about eight pounds um, but I remember I would walk around the house um, and I remember one time I was walking and I could like feel my stomach jiggle with every step I took and that was the weirdest feeling to me because I had never felt that before because I never had a lot of fat on my body and at that moment I was like bruh something's gotta change and so I was like you know what we're gonna start making home workouts so I started to do home workouts where I would make them myself and those are fantastic and it was a very admirable goal but those are kind of unrealistic for me personally just because you're the one who's making them so you're just like I have no motivation to do this and you're like I'm just not gonna do it so around that time my oldest sister Molly was also trying to lose weight for a wedding that she was going to so she ordered this program called the Beach Body program and it is the 21 day fix they send you a bunch of stuff it's like a whole kit thing and they send you a workout DVD as well and she got it and she was like I'm so excited and so we put it into the the DVD player and I decided to do the first workout workout with her and it kicked my butt and I was like wow 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 Jody is out of shape and my sister actually ended up dumping the DVD she was like I don't want it I don't like it I don't like the home workout type of thing so I was like bro free DVD let's do it so I started to work out with the DVD and I loved it I did it five times a week because there was five different workouts on the DVD I never really did the cardio one because I felt like I was gonna fall over and die but I did like the upper fix the lower fix um, there was like a Pilates so it's like a re active recovery day session and so I did all those and I started doing those about five times a week here I did it for like six to nine months I think and from that program alone I actually lost my eight 
nine, ten, ten, ten um, pounds, and I started to see definition in my legs. Um, my arms started to be really strong, and the cool thing was, is like when I would do the workouts, like there would be certain things that I couldn't do, like one, like I can't, like one time we had to, okay, one of the one of the exercises is you take like dumbbells, and we had like eight pound dumbbells, and you hold them up by your shoulders, and you do squats for a minute, and I could barely do like air squats for the first minute. By the time I had done the the nine months of like the tape, I was like like had like 10 pounds on each side squatting and it wasn't even hurting I was like this is not even cool I'm not getting sore anymore blah 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 so that is originally how I lost the 10 pounds and I didn't even pair it very well with a good eating schedule I kind of just ate like normal we do eat pretty healthy my dad's like a huge gardener so we have like two greenhouses we have lettuce all the time so we do eat pretty healthy but it, I wasn't eating like super super amazing I just stuck to that program and the workouts are were literally 30 minutes a day so there's like no excuse not to do it especially if you're homeschooled and you're literally home all day there was like no excuse not to do it so that is how I kind of got more into fitness and then I actually started working at a gym this last year at college and I have a bubble in my throat right now who heard it who heard it who heard it no, I think I'm just going to leave it at this. So, that is my little video on how I lost my 8 to 10 pounds um, over the course of um, 8 months. Um, I think it's important when you're starting to lose weight is to not set um, unrealistic goals as far as like, I want to lose a pound every single day because we're not all on Biggest Loser, do you know what I mean? I know this is so cliche and everybody says this, but like, like fitness and health is literally, it has to be a lifestyle. If it is not a lifestyle, you are going to have a constant struggle with your weight, constant struggle throughout your whole life of all these um, things and diets and fads and cleanses and stuff but if you don't make it a lifestyle and you don't commit to it and then your situation is hopeless so bye <laughs> no but I think it is really important everybody wants everything so fast these days you can order something on Amazon have it at your door the next day you can text them but you can call them and get their answer right away and people are like I want this fat off my body right now and that's just unrealistic it takes time it takes a buttload of hard work like you just, you just, it takes hard work. So, currently I am at 129 pounds, usually around 130. So, I lost about 8 pounds, um, and I kind of call, technically call it 10 pounds because at the time I was down to like 127-ish, 128, and then I started working out this last year and I've gone, I've gained some muscle, so I'm at 130 right now. So, it's kind of like technically, you know what I mean. So, anywho, um, that is my video on how I lost my 10 pounds. As far as the program goes, I think that the DVD, I don't know if you can buy it separately, but I would honestly just recommend the DVD because they send you like a bunch of like these little containers and you're supposed to measure out how many little containers you get. There's like a blue and a red one, all these different kinds. To me, that is like so unrealistic. It's like laughable because if you don't have time to like meal prep, you're not going to have time to like figure out how many little containers. And, and like fill them up and like refill them that's just unrealistic to me I just think that if you eat healthy eat clean eat things that grow outside and that you could butcher yourself so you don't want to go kill that cow you can have that beef you know what I mean so um yeah that's pretty much what I have done and ever since then I've kind of like I've elevated from there that was kind of like my little like launching pad and I'm just like boom so now I'm in the sky I'm in space right now so join me in space um, I've started doing a lot of like heavy weightlifting and I love it so much like I have seen like crazy results it is so on point let me just say like lifting is the best decision you'll ever make in your life and you will see the best fastest results from lifting heavy and I don't know why everybody, why the poop everybody's so scared of lifting like it's so much fun well actually it's not fun it's really painful but it's good, it's amazing, and I've seen the most results from that. So, if you guys want me to do another whole video, I think I'm going to do more of, like, my fitness journey as far as, like, from there to where I am now because I've improved and I've grown so much from where I was. Snap, I just realized I was moving all over the place and then I stopped for, like, three minutes. Lame. But now we're back on it again. Does this make you feel weird? Woo. So anyways, I think I'm going to be doing another video um, kind of telling you guys where I got from there to where I am now because I have grown so much and I've been hitting some pretty cool like fitness milestones. Like I squatted like 95 pounds and I'm so excited. I did it five times. It was death. It felt weird. I didn't want to do it again, but I'm just really proud of that. So um, if you guys want to see a video um, on that, I want to put together some workout videos that targeting specific areas of the body. Um, find what works best for you and you might have to do some trial and error stuff. I know there's a lot of fitness DVDs out there. I'm not saying that you have to have the total fix DVD because that's definitely not true. 
true. Um, but I do recommend a fitness DVD. I think it helps a lot, especially, especially if you are new to the gym and if the gym is intimidating to you, this is fantastic. It's something you can do at home. Um, half the time I would work out in like the weirdest like clothes, like pajamas slash like my hair was like greasy and gross and I was just like, I don't care because nobody's going to see me. So if that's more comforting to you and if that's kind of the whole thing that you like, then you could definitely do that. But like I said, just find what works best for you and then just hit it. You got to just do it. Nike is the best. Just do it. Okay? Um, like I said, make it a lifestyle. If you don't make it a lifestyle, you're setting yourself up for failure. So, ooh, quote me, quote me. That's going to be famous one day when I am a famous power lifter and I'm like squatting 500 pounds and they're like, you weigh 130. How do you do that? And I'm like, you just don't even know. Okay? You don't even know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I am so excited to do some more fitness videos for you guys. Working at a gym has changed my life. It's changed my life. It's changed my life. So um, if you guys have any video requests as far as like fitness oriented stuff or just in general, please leave them down below. Thanks guys so much for watching this video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!